Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, today's beer is Foggy Geezer. That might describe me sometimes. <laughs> this is from War Pigs Brew Pub. Uh, they're in Denmark and it's a collaboration beer between uh, War Pigs, Three Boys, and McKellar. Uh, so, uh, this was sent to me by Maverick. Uh, and it says here a super fruity and dank war pigs hazy IPA forged in collaboration between Free Boys and McKellar. Uh, I don't see the ABV on the can here anywhere, guys. And to me, they actually need to have that on there. But Three Floyds is known, world renowned, or noun uh, for not putting very much information on their in their uh, cans and bottles or whatever. Uh, and probably the biggest reason if they were available here I wouldn't buy them. And I've also got two of those in there that Maverick has also sent me. We're going to be getting those pretty quick because they're getting to the end of their shelf life. Uh, and it does have packaged 0306 of 19. So wind's blowing about 50 miles an hour out there guys. If it ain't nailed down or concreted down it's blowing away ain't no doubt. Uh, so uh, 3619 today is 426 so not quite to the two month but getting really close to that it's all black can even the top is black the tab is black everything is black on it and it looks like it's a uh, printed can I don't doesn't feel like it's a label shrunk wrap label or anything on there so they paid to have this can produced and the light is coming through here I hate that it was cloudy just a second ago it's been raining on and off and the wind done picked up like I said about 50 miles an hour out there it sounds like uh, this is uh, according to untapped uh, uh, a New England style IPA but I've got my serious doubts about that guys uh, Maverick uh, sent it to me and the note he has here it says canned on 3619 well, it was canned 6.8% ABV uh, and that's what it has on Beer Advocate and uh, also untapped has the same amount and untapped has it at 70 IBUs uh, not on the can had a look on untapped so uh, that's what he's saying here too and he's also telling me not a New England IPA like untapped says that's fake news it's much more of an unfiltered traditional IPA and uh, well, it is what it is guys a lot of these verbiage claim uh, this and claim that and some of them are claiming just like uh, Stone did uh, that they had a New England style, uh, but it was more just a, a hazy, unfiltered beer. So, uh, with that being said, uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Untap says a hazy India, India Pale Ale, but up there in the upper part underneath the Warpix Brew Pub, it says IPA New England. I got serious doubts about that, uh, so we shall see, especially since Maverick says he didn't think it was, and the pictures on Untap doesn't look like it either. So we're about to find out for ourselves. Into the glass we go. And I'm going to back off on that super aggressive pour because it looks like it's well carbonated and it is very clear coming out so far. And we'll swirl this around to make sure we get everything out of the bottom of it so we don't want any settling going on. And a lot of times, as you can see, it's well carbonated. And ain't no doubt about that. So, well, that's about all of it. It does have a very slight haze to here, but it's very clear on the bottom. Uh, 
and looking at the sunlight, it's got a lot of streaks running through it. So definitely you know, some settling going on in the can. Uh, and I don't know where this was produced, whether it was collaboration of those three breweries here, or, and I would think probably so. If I was guessing, I'd say maybe even uh, uh, three Floyds actually packaged this. I'm not sure about that, guys. Uh, very reminiscing of their packaging. packaging. So, uh, over into the sunlight, uh, there's some hazy streaks in the upper part. Not very cloudy. Looks like an unfiltered beer. And dirty guys, that sun is just baking through here. And I know it's leaving a shadow, and I apologize for that. I probably should have closed those before I got started, but it wasn't. It wasn't coming through when I started this, so let's get it to the nose. Very nice citrusy aromas. Very pleasant grapefruit, oranges, maybe a hand of some tropical fruit notes, stone fruit. Smells very good. Definitely well carbonated. Let's give it just dive in and see what we got. Cheers everybody. Cheers my Nice and tasty. Very pleasant. Alcohol seems to be well hidden. Seems to be quite balanced. I would think so between, especially McKellar, who's been doing beers in a long time. Does a lot of dark beers, though, I think, too. His brother does, for sure. Uh, and three Floyds and War Pig seem like uh, between those three head brewers, I probably could have come up with something, but uh, don't believe Untapped. Uh, I would not consider this a, a New England style beer. More of a, just an unfiltered, hazy IPA, like it says on the can. But seems to be rather tasty. Very, very tasty. Well, let's sip on it it's right out of the fridge and see what we end up with. Let it come up to room temperature. Uh, seems to be a very pleasant beer, guys. So, uh, stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sitting on it for a while now. A nice slicing of stuff on the glass. Definitely not a New England style beer, like Untapped has it uh, listed as. Uh, a nice, unfiltered, hazy IPA. Alcohol is well hidden for an almost 7%, 6.8. Uh, ABV is not on the can. That's my biggest fuss about this. Uh, but I think it is a very nice, well made, unfiltered IPA. Uh, nice tropical fruit notes, hints of oranges, grapefruit, a little bit of pine. Very pleasant to drink. Uh, dates on the bottom of it, that's the biggest thing. Uh, but they need to have the ABV on it and Three Boys is known for not putting that information on there. Uh, so, uh, it is what it is. So the, the brewers can put what they want to on there, but I can give it the grade that I want to. And it's just my opinion, guys. Don't base what you buy or don't buy on what I say. It's just my opinion. But with the amount of beers that I've tasted and reviewed over the years, uh, it's pretty good inclination of what you can expect. So, with that being said, let's do it. I'm a chug. A very, very pleasant beer to drink. So Maverick, thanks again my friend, my brother. I do appreciate the beers you sent. Uh, this was uh, a pretty tasty beer, guys. Uh, I do think it's an A beer, but it would probably get a little bit better grade if it had the ABV on it somewhere. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to give it to A minus, but I'm going to give it a 94. It's kicking the door down to be uh, a solid A and if it had the ABV on it it would get that probably a couple notches above that. It wouldn't be a 10 but it would be close to it. Uh, I don't understand why Untapped has it listed as a New England style and it's not. Uh, it's just an unfiltered hazy IPA. So with that I agree with what Maverick said too that he didn't think it was either. Uh, for 70 IBUs that's about average for an IPA to balance that out the bitterness and the sweetness. So if you can get your hands on this Pick it up, give it a try. Just don't expect a, a New England style beer because it's not. Basically an unfiltered, hazy beer. So, very enjoyable. Uh, let's run over to Beer Advocate and they have it at 4.13, which I consider also in their A minus scale. And untapped, uh, they have it at 4 even, which is barely into their A scale, as far as I'm concerned. So, or A minus scale. And I agree, it's an A-minus scale. So let's just say it's unanimous from me and the other two sites. 
it's a name on the spear. Uh, so if you've had this, the Foggy Geezer for more pigs and uh, McKellar and uh, Free Boy, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge, guys.